In this video, we are gonna watch a spectacular game that won the prize for the best move of 2023. Hello, it's friends. Welcome to another video on Better Chess Academy, your go-to destination for mastering the game of chess. In this video, we are going to watch a game between Stavrula Tsalakidou and Buxa Natalia played in the Women's Team Championship in 2023 in Montenegro. Before we get started, you can join the team on Lead Chess, I will leave a link down in the description and you can like the video and subscribe to the channel and you can hit the notification bell so that you can be the first to learn when a new video comes up. Let's get started. So Stavrula started with e4, we have the Sicilian defense, knight c knight c6, d4, we have the open Sicilian, c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight f6, knight c3, and e5. Knight b5 is the best move, now white threatens to play knight d6 check and to win the bishop. So black plays d6, we have the pelican variation or the Svesnikov variation, and now white has a choice. Stavrula chose the move knight d5, but uh, she could also play the move bishop g5, is the big main line, with a6, knight a3, b5, knight d5, bishop e7, takes, takes, e3, and now black has a lot of moves, bishop g5 is one of them, rook b8 is one of them, but let's return to knight d5, now white threatens a deadly check on c7, so black has to take, white takes, and now black has two moves. And the knight can go to b8 or to e7. Natalia chose to play knight on e7. Uh, if uh, black played the knight on b8, the main line is c4, bishop e7, bishop d3, castles, castles, a6, knight c3, f5, f3, knight d7. And now an interesting move is king, f king h1. And the white should prepare the pawn break c5 somehow while black is attacking on the king side. So after knight e7, Stavrula played c4, knight d6, queen a4, now white threatens a discovered uh, check with a knight. So black plays bishop d7, queen b4, and now the main move is queen b8. Uh, Natalia chose to play bishop f5, queen a4, we are repeating moves. Bishop d7, queen b4, bishop f5, and now white uh, deviates and plays the move h4. Threatens to play uh, h5. Black plays h5 uh, herself. And now bishop e3 was Caruana Carson in uh, the World Championship match in uh, London 2018. But uh, Stavrula played bishop g5. And now if black was to play f6, uh, he would create a lot of weaknesses on the king side. White just returns and it's slightly better. Uh, black played uh, queen b8, bishop e2, a6, knight c3, queen c7, g3, bishop e7, bishop e3, white returns, e4, and now uh, white played the move castles. Now I would suggest another move. Queen a4 check is the most played move in the position and maybe a little bit better according to the engine. Uh, black has two moves. The most played move is king f8, but white can choose between castles, knight e5, and now a novelty, queen c2. White threatens the pawn on e4. And if rook e8, knight takes e4, queen d8, and c5. Bishop h4, c takes d6, bishop f6, and rook a c1. White is slightly better, but the position is chaotic. Uh, another move after king f8 is rook d1. Rook e8, castles, bishop h3, and now comes the soccer move c5. Uh, white sacrifices the exchange. Black can take on f1, bishop takes f1, d takes c5, knight takes c4, bishop d6, because white threatens to play d6. Bishop d6, bishop d2, white protects the knight, a5 and a3, and white is ready for b4, and it's uh, much better according to the engine. So after c5, we have f5, and now rook f1 was Svak Kalio, sorry if I pronounce the names wrong, 
which was played in uh, 2018. But here, maybe a move, a novelty move, I would suggest, is c6. And after bishop f6, white has rook c1. And if knight e5, queen b3, bc6, dc6, rook b8, queen e6, queen takes e6, rook f1, rook e8, queen b3, bishop g5, and knight d5. And white is slightly better. So, after queen a4 check, we saw king f8. We didn't see bishop d7. Now, a good move is queen d1. Castles. And now, an interesting novelty is bishop d4. But white can take the pawn. Rook f8. And now, knight c3 was Pranes Lagunov. Again, excuse me if I pronounce the names wrong. Uh, and now, a novelty is queen b3 which is suggested by the engine b5 rook c1 bishop takes h4 c takes b5 queen a5 check queen c3 a takes b5 queen takes a5 rook takes a5 knight takes d6 and now after rook e3 rook takes e3 rook takes h4 we have a chaotic position but white stands slightly better so let's return to the game after e4 we have castles castles bishop takes h5 and knight e5 a good move looting on these squares on d3 and f3 and now uh, bishop p2 queen d7 was kariakin carlsen in uh, 2019 but uh, stavrula chose another move bishop d4 now let's see what happens if black takes the pawn if black takes with a queen we take knight takes rook e1, knight takes b2, rook eb1, knight d3, and rook takes b7. White stands slightly better. If black takes with a knight, we can play with white rook a c1, b5, b3, and we have discovered attack, knight takes e4. But uh, here, Natalia played knight d3, a good move queen b3 and chose to take on h4 to play for an attack h takes d4 queen e7 now white should uh, bring some pieces to the king side in order to defend so stavrula played knight e2 queen takes h4 and knight g3 now natalia played the wrong move she played knight f4 but it's a logical move because she threatens to play queen e3 and queen uh, h2 but the best move was bishop h7 and then to play knight f4. Now we have a repetition of moves after queen takes b7, knight f4, bishop takes f7, rook takes f7, queen takes a8, rook f8, queen a7, white threatens mate. So black can either play rook f7 and we have a repetition of moves, or black can play knight h3 check, king d2, and knight f4 check to repeat moves. But Natalia played knight f4 and Stavrula took the bishop. And now here comes the move that won the prize for the best move on uh, 2023. You can guess, you can find it. So if you found queen g3, congratulations. White uh, sacrifices the queen. If g5, just rook f1. But of course, black took the queen. Knight e2 check, king d2, knight takes d3, and now not f takes d3 because black can play f6 and the king can run from f7. But knight e7 check, king h7, and f takes d3. And now white threatens to play rook h1. And uh, if queen e2 check, white can play rook f2 and then the other rook from a1 comes to h1 with a deadly check so we have f takes g3 king h6 rook h1 we have a pin queen takes h1 rook takes h1 check king g5 bishop takes g7 rook f8 and now you can think the only move that wins for white it's more easy than queen g3 and white played the move rook f1 
and now after rook takes uh, e7 comes the double threat bishop f6 check what black played e3 bishop f6 check and now it's mate because if king h5 it's rook h1 check king g4 and rook h4 checkmate whereas if king h6 comes rook h1 checkmate so this this was the game it was a spectacular game uh, from stavrula we saw a little bit of theory some novelties some tactics and uh, i hope you enjoyed it if you enjoyed it you can like the video and subscribe subscribe to the channel so uh, we can continue what uh, interesting games so this was for today thank you for watching